Yesterday I spoke on um, my initiative which I co-founded with my partner last year uh, and that's called Journey Ecology which is a, a hybrid of journey and ecology and it's about um, uh, it's about basically hybridizing uh, travel and conservation science together so that people who travel can do science and people who uh, do science can look at travel. Uh, Journal Ecology is uh, an online platform um, and we work across a variety of social media platforms as well, so Facebook, Twitter, um, now Instagram and YouTube as well. And basically what it does is it engages um, travel and scientific audiences to uh, learn a little bit about those respective disciplines. So the real aim is to get travellers interested in science, that's our main goal at the moment. And to do that, we create short, engaging videos. Um, and then from there, we hope that they will look at more kind of eco-travel responsible initiatives and then maybe even go on to look and be interested in the science themselves. So it's about kind of hooking people in. Um, what we also do, though, is we do features for researchers for science across the world. So um, they can be in Borneo, they can be in Australia, they can be in North America, and we'll feature their work. So what we'll do is we'll make a video, we'll make an article, uh, write an article, we'll um, take photos and put it all on a nice place on a website so that everyone can look at it and, and it communicates that to a whole variety of audiences. So we'll either make a simple short video that people can uh, like that can be on a layman's level of understanding or we'll make something longer like a documentary that has like a little bit more explanation, maybe some animation in there as well. Um, and yeah. We either do this from footage that people provide us with, or we do this by going out there ourselves, if that's feasible. Yeah, so it went really well. It was really well received. Um, yeah, we got lots of positive feedback and people came up and talked to us at the end and it was absolutely packed with people standing at the back. So that was really good. And I think what was really good about the, the symposium as a whole was that all of our topics uh, rolled on nicely from one another, had things that were related but also um, differed in the kind of science communication we were doing. So we had science fiction and we had some uh, travel and eco-travel and then we also had podcasting and humour and um, yeah, lots of public speaking and lots of different like scientific science communication dif disciplines so that was really nice to see. So being in Finland has been really interesting. It's been really kind of eye-opening. It's it's an amazing, amazing location. And there's what has particularly hit me is the amount of nature that surrounds the town and that 75% of Finland is, is forested. Um, and you can just walk 10 minutes down the road and be, be completely surrounded by nature. And that's something that we actually really try and push in Journecology. We have a video playlist called Making Cities Green, which is all about bringing nature into cities. And just from being here in Finland, I felt, um, you know, so much kind of, so much peacefulness from having the greenery so close to the city um, and where I'm staying, just being able to step outside and see trees wherever, wherever you are. So um, it's really nice to see that, that there is that on earth, you know, it does exist and, 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 and it would be really great if we can use this as, as, a, as a case study and an example to show other places that it's totally possible as well. And I think the conference itself has been great and it's been really interesting to see a whole a whole mixture of different talks and coming from a science communication perspective, um, just looking at those and kind of thinking, oh, it would be great to to make something about this or make something about that. There are so many, it's, it's reassuring to see that there are so many topics out there that people would just, you know, I know that the general public will be really fascinated in hearing about, it's just doing it the right way, yeah.